you hear dialogues from members of the U.S. Congress totally foreign to the existing scientific information. Yes, sir. And we need scientists who will come out and very personally and very vocally and very dramatically demonstrate to elected officials what the science is. And I have to tell you, if there's an asteroid headed to the Earth, I think the scientific community would be a little more vocal. But we have a very slow motion, similar situation. And yet, I don't see 100 people in lab coats surrounding a member elected official and explaining science to them in vocal terms. I see people uh, in other uh, groups that, uh, for instance, might be associated with a group that celebrates tea surrounding members being vocal. But I don't see the scientific community being vocal about this subject. So I'm encouraging you to be vocal, and I think that's an obligation based on the gift of intellect that you've been giving. We need you to get out there and speak out and not let these people march forward in blind ignorance on this subject. So I just, I'm just i giving you license to be vocal. Thank you. Part, and I thank you for those. Um, we face a difficulty in that there are certainly perceptions that if people take uh, statements that can be viewed as being policy prescriptive, that it weakens our ability to be honest brokers about the science. Um, as a scientist and as a citizen, as a voter and as somebody who's using your money to try to tell you what we know, um, I grapple with this. I think all of us do. I would greatly welcome guidance on how we can do this better. Um, and if you call, um, today I'm on the phone, but tomorrow I can be in the car and on the way down to visit, to, to work with you, to talk with you, to try to move forward. All of us see very clearly what is happening. Um, I had the very good fortune to be speaking to one of the staff members on a, on a related committee recently, and that staff member said, what is the single strongest piece of evidence that holds up your global warming theory? And my reply was, what is the single thread that is strongest in a rope? Our observations, Peterman Glacier does not prove global warming, but thermometers show warming. Thermometers far from cities show warming. Thermometers in the ground show warming. Thermometers in the ocean show warming. Thermometers on satellites show warming. Everywhere we look, the changes in living things, 90% of the significant changes are in the direction of warming. The ice really is changing. This is happening. We see it. It is an interwoven rope of evidence that shows very, very strongly that we humans are changing the world in a way that will impact us in, in, in major ways. And how best to communicate that message to people, that is good, solid science. It is woven together. There is no thread that you could cut out of that that will change that conclusion because it is so strongly based. How best to communicate that, sir, I believe you're better at communication than I am, and I would happily go to school for you.